Hello and welcome back to Tammy's Antique Vintage Dolls and More. And today I'm bringing back this little girl like I said I would. Now, I did some uh, pulling off some of her paint off the back. I seem to think that what's happened to her markings on the back is that they went on backwards. Um, I wonder if it's M and S and the plate of this mold was backwards or something because the S is backwards it says end and it says M now there seems to be something down here like a backwards R as well you can see the R or an A so there's something there it's one or the other an A or an R so I'm not too sure what it was trying to say there but anyways um, there are some markings there as well so I leave it at that I'm wondering if her markings are just backwards so the plate went on backwards or something. I, I I gotta go with that. I don't know otherwise. But there seems to be right here something going on right in here, like a backwards R. I just had a brainstorm. What? What about looking at that through a mirror? The mirror would well, flip it around. Yeah, right it'd be way. just M and S. That's how it would be. It's still I can tell it's an M and it's and and, and that's the letter that's the and sign for A N D and something. M and S. But maybe that'll help the bottom letter to... Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's true. That could be. Better. But anyhow, let's look at this doll here. Now, there are no other markings that I can see on her. Everything else is looking pretty, you know, plain and blank and everything. So we're going to turn her around. Now, one of the things I noticed about her that she looks like, she looks like my toddling Sue that I have. So we're going to lay toddling Sue right down beside her. She, I undressed her, so... John, bring over Toddling Sue. And now you see that what I'm talking about. My How name much... is Toddling Sue. How do you do? There you go. My poet here. So there you go. Let's look at their faces together now. How close they look together. Now maybe you see the resemblance of how the molds are so close to one another. That what I'm thinking is she has... Now this is my ideal doll. She has the tin. Let me see if we get her in the light here. But her eyes flirt. John, can you take the camera now? Sure. I, I, I want to show how these eyes flirt. Ideal was big on the flirty eyes. I'm not saying other companies were not. There were other companies that made the flirty eyes as well. But her eyes do flirt back and forth. So you can see how they go back to corner to corner of the eyes. Now that was big on... The, with the Shirley Temple dolls as well. Some of the Shirley Temple dolls had flirty eyes. And so anyways, on the back, you will see where it says, Ideal Doll Made in the USA. It's there. It's faint, Wait, but it's there. I, I yes. can't see it. Oh. Right. It's on where? the back. Oh, right here. Yes. Can you pick it up? It doesn't show up very Do you want to get in some light? Maybe? Yeah. Let's, let's go in some light. Some light. Right maybe. here. Yeah. Maybe there, there now okay. you can. Okay, now. maybe you can see it there. See it now, or... It says ideal doll. It still doesn't show up very good. No? Oh my goodness, yeah, look at that. Dark. Um, we need to go this direction. Let's try this this direction. There, that's a little better. Ideal doll. Yeah. Now she's not strung very tight either. She needs to be all restrung again, or re well, redone. Her wig is shot. It's like paper thin, it wants to crumble. So anyways, there she is. This is Toddling Sue. And she's the same size as this little gal. She looks at every which way built the same. Come over here, John, now. They're built the same and everything. Now their paint, the, uh, um, their paint is a little bit lighter and darker on this, on the Ideal doll, and this one's a little bit darker. But when you look at them, they have the same knees, they have the same feet, everything's the same about them here. They have the same toes, everything. The molds are the same. Thumbs are in the right position um, from hand to hand. You can go back and forth. What this is, is that this is just a, a remake of this doll here, but probably cheaper. This was cheaper and easier to, to afford than sometimes the high-end dolls, which this would be because it would probably have shown a picture of Shirley Temple holding on to this doll because this was her play doll, what she would put in her buggies and what she would play tea with and wrap up and diaper and the whole bit. 
Um, so they called her Toddling Sue. You can look her up. You can see about her. She was made by Ideal, just like the, the Shirley Temples were. But I thought it was interesting. Nice to have a knockoff of her. And I'm glad to own a knockoff of her. So um, just thought I'd bring that out. As soon as I seen her, I know what she reminded me of. And um, the only thing that the plus for her is, too, she's got a lot better wig than what this little girl here has. So... Um, but they're both up for repaints and everything so oh one other thing diana you asked why i said on the one doll why i would just put on linseed oil well sometimes the leg does not need to have the paint taken off first the first thing that i would do okay i'm, I'm going to test the paint on the legs and if that is acrylic it's coming off okay that's just the the, the bottom line if it's acrylic i'll test it if it does if it comes off with the chemicals that I use then I know I need to take everything off the doll but if I find out that it is oil paint on those legs and the arms I will leave them just the way they are and just redo the head and match the paint up because that's the original paint and I like to keep original paint if it's in good condition and good standing I will leave the original paint and try to match now sometimes what happens is is that the head looks newer than the arms and the legs so I can go sand the arms and the legs down and um, just repaint over them there's nothing lifting and nothing going on if it's oil if it's oil paint that's what I'm saying. If it's oil paint, I will leave the paint on, give it a light sanding, and just paint to match the face. And then they all match together. That's what I meant. I won't go digging the paint off of it. But if I, like I said, if I find out it's acrylic, the paint will come off. I don't leave acrylic on anymore. Everything's going into oil. It's, it, it preserves better. And it, this is what these dolls were painted with. And it looks better. I have dolls that I painted with acrylic. They turned out nice. They did. But there is a difference between the oil and the acrylic. You can see the profound difference. And I love the way that oil lays on these dolls. It lays so much nicer than, than the, um, the acrylic paint. And um, there's a lot to say about oil paint. But as that's being said... A lot of dolls were painted with this acrylic. It got into the hands of a lot of artists and they took these dolls and repainted them and sold them or refurbished them for another for a family who was willing to pay the price to have you know mom's doll fixed or grandma's doll fixed up and they didn't mind it being painted with acrylic. It was the new thing to do. It was the new paint. So um, it was you know the, the, the to do thing type of thing out with the old and in with the new but the new sometimes is doesn't have a long lasting effect and that's why we're trying I'm trying to steer people away from acrylics and as much as you can get the oil paint on back onto these old dolls again it does last better I know I the acrylic would probably last my life my lifetime but by the time I'm ready to go these dolls are going to be probably ready for another if they were painted with acrylic be up for another painting and I don't want to leave these dolls like that I, um, when I do this I want to leave the heritage of these dolls in good standing and the, the oil paint will last longer on them and it probably go into somebody else's life if, because all these dolls now are going to do is sit and they're going to be kept in a good place and they're going to um you know the paint will reflect that you know it, it the reason why even oil paint is is struggling is because of being in heat and cold and um, drying out and getting old and everything else everything even in your house has to be redone every so often you gotta you know bring things back up again and same with these old dolls so in another hundred years we'll let that be somebody else's problem but right now my problem is is that um, today as I look at this I am the one who's going to restore them into that oil paint again and my, that's my responsibility to give them the best that we can and why not eh? if we if it's accessible to us why not do it you know and um you know i'm all for it if we can do this so one thing i want to uh, say is how nice her eyelashes are they all her eyelashes seem to be there she's got beautiful eyelashes now this little gal she has some missing here and um she's going to need uh some put in i don't know sometimes i don't mind a few missing out of the eye eyelids um just to keep the oil because this one's so nice and the few that are missing i can live with uh, most people can. They don't mind a few little imperfections on the doll. We don't have to have them picture perfect. Um, that's another thing, you know. you got to learn what you really want to do to a doll and what not to do to your doll. And that doesn't bother me to leave an eye. If I can match it, I will try to match um, that. And for a doll like this, I will try to match and put a few in there. Why not? 
But anyhow, as that's being said there, I thought I'd make this video like I promised, and I'm trying to keep with my promises here. So um, I thought it was very interesting, these two dolls. So I'm going to let you go. It's heading up to 10 minutes here. And John? Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye.